me or not, whether you accept me or not, whether you condemn me or not, whether you suspend me or not, the goddamn white man is the devil, and I will teach it from the cradle to the grave. Always teach it. Because I know that you are a fickle people. Long story, this one of our friendship and partnership based on common values of democracy and freedom and rule of law and human rights, but also of a very strong community. A fellow citizen that are both American and Portuguese, and they love the United States of America and they love Portugal. There are around 1,500,000 Portuguese, those who are American, right. living here. That's right. They're very important. So it's not just a military, a political, and an economic alliance. It's more than that. It's something very human. Right. Because we're speaking of 1 million and 400,000 uh, people that uh, they live their love for two countries at the same time. As, as you spoke of soccer, let me then ask you something, or I'll make you a suggestion. Go ahead. If you're going to meet Mr. Putin, well, I was with him last week. Good. Yes, and he asked me to greet you. So, of course, he was expecting your visit. But anyway, don't forget that Portugal has the best player in the world. That is called Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, I'm yeah. sure your son knows it. He knows all about and it. So, and so, don't forget, if you ever go to Russia during the championship, don't forget Portugal is still there and wanting to win. That's right, doing very well. Yes. That's right. And they say he is and doing very, very, very well. That's very good. Well, and so tell me, how good a player is he? Are you impressed? I'm very much impressed. He's the best player of the world, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. So in a sense, uh, well, I think has been a success. I do agree with you. Yeah, the great. championship. Yeah, no, yes. yeah. I think. I think. No doubt right about it. For the world. For the world. So will Christian ever run for president against you? You wouldn't win. You know well, he won't. President, you know, you know something I must tell you. Portugal is not just the United States. That's not right. That's a little right. bit different. I, yes, go ahead. We tend to think of this as the beginning of an era. In fact, it's the climax of a forgotten chapter in European history. In the year 711 AD, Muslim forces invaded Spain and created a society so rich and so powerful it was the envy of the known world. This wasn't the rigid, ferocious Islam of our imaginations, but a progressive, sensuous, intellectually curious culture that for a number of spine-tingling years looks set to sweep through the whole of Europe. It is an incredible story, but one that has been systematically written out of history. After the Catholic monarchs took over the city of Granada, they began to destroy all evidence that the Muslims had ever been in Spain. These people have become known as the Moors. Propaganda, sparked by the Crusades, has given us an enduring image. The diabolical Moor, a dark-skinned, savage, alien enemy. Now, archaeologists and historians are starting to piece together the real story of the Moors in Spain. They're uncovering the remains of hidden cities. Not a single account of life here survives. All its archives were incinerated in the fires of the Inquisition. But the Catholics couldn't bring themselves to destroy this place. The Alhambra is one of the wonders of the medieval world. And by preserving it, they've kept a box of secrets that we can use to decode the civilization. They said, explain what myth is. They explained the shit in the dictionary. They explained what mystique. I said, what is this? Did they kept saying, America's son. I wonder who the fuck John John? Nobody didn't know who his ass was until he started fucking with Darren Hannah a few years ago. America's son. See, that's the 
S-U-N-S-O-N, Son of God. America, son, they were sacrificing. We love the world so much we give our only begotten son. They kept saying, America, son. America, son. So now I'm saying, what has this got to do with me? Look, Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, you will know the end when the elite turn on each other and there's infighting amongst the elite. You got to understand that these people that one of on us are studying stuff. They've been studying this shit since the Moors left them in charge. So they know when certain things gonna go up, where this is the, the, the bridge where their ass is getting ready to get taken off the planet. You see, where they got to throw in some shit and throw in the towel. Or they gotta sacrifice somebody, just like the Mayans had to do. Virgin sacrifice. You see what I'm saying? You gotta understand the science. So my point is, this shit is major any time they gotta go kill John John. We ain't talking about them on the other hand, John John get ready to turn 40 and already start talking about running for president. 39. You know, he turns 40 in 2000. And it was already talking about if he, if he didn't get it this time, because you know, that would be too late. She, if, if John John said he running for president, every damn hoe in America. <laughs> that shit would be hands down. <laughs> Especially all the black people, how we love Kennedy's. You understand what I'm saying? How we love damn Kennedy to be Princess Diana on the picture. You know what I'm saying? John John on the picture. You know how that shit to live, you know. And maybe Tupac or Biggie or one of them on the side. Maybe Tupac on the picture with a rag around his head. You know how to have them two Kennedy boys and Martin Luther King on the picture in somebody's damn bedroom. So you know it'll be hands down. Niggas love some Kennedys and shit. They got black people all up there crying for this nigga. You see what I'm saying? But you gotta understand. That's see what we don't realize is as you say, 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 what does this got to do? This is major shit. This is major. They say basically you can understand what's going on. You just watch and watch the elite where they got to go, go, go shoot up a place every day. You see what I'm saying? They got to shoot up a place every week. They got to keep something going. This way, this fall starts this whole. Hallow's Eve, the Thanksgiving thing, All Saints Day, going to be some major shit going up into Christmas. Just wait on this thing. It's going to be big. You see what I'm saying? It's going to be real big. So let's go into some other stuff. Who is they? You say they. They. We, we're, talking about they. we're talking about the ruling elite. When we say they, we're talking about the secret societies. Uh, it's a, I mean, the names, I wouldn't know. I'm just talking about the elite, the people who run the world. Federal yeah, Because there's no such thing as no individualism and no by the people, for the people, and other people. You understand what I'm saying? It's a group of elite people that run everything and all. And so basically, when they start shaking in their boots, that's how you can detect when the stuff is getting ready to go down. We are right in the mix of the stuff. You see what I'm saying? Meanwhile, this whole shit going down with the eclipse getting ready to go down and the eclipse code with the Grand Cross on what, the 11th? Yeah. That whole thing that went down on August, what, August 11th? Yeah. With the eclipse? All that is in conjunction with this shit. You see, all that. Nothing is out of order. So they had to give up one in the middle of July because when, when, when did July he died? Mm -hmm. And then they say yeah. seven months from the sky will become a great king of terror? Yeah. Well, they had to ward off that stuff. And meanwhile, they just announced in the Nexus magazine, that they done found another fucking comet in April, I ain't telling nobody. They got another comet, the comet Lee, that this astronomer named Lee something from Australia found this comet. Yeah, this way. And it's supposed the dog gonna show up in November. Oh shit. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> this is some serious stuff that's going down. You see, real serious stuff. You see, and, and so don't just think that they just doing shit out of the pocket. You see, this is real major. You're going to see some, all the killings and stuff and all the stuff you're seeing. All of that is a whole part of the whole damn thing. you got to understand what's going down. Right before the Kennedy thing was, uh, was about to die down, this guy goes in Atlanta and shoot up the whole building. Death cycle lies dormant. As that cycle of life wears down, the death cycle becomes to life. But that, what you call death, is nothing but it was a dormant aspect of our alternative existence of life and it is now coming alive but it is against the entire universe and the gods antimatter antimatter and the whole nine yards and we're going to get into this particular thing also too uh, in a few minutes but just bear with me uh, so you can understand some of this stuff y'all alright? Yeah. I'm going to go through some things quick first of all uh, 
The movie Stigma. How many people saw it yet? Yeah. Because what, what the movie did do, you know, they had all the stuff, you know, with the blood and all that. But basically, the movie was talking about how the Catholic Church, basically, when they found the ancient scripts, which they, they say was Aramaic, but basically, at the end of the movie, when they, they say, when they found the Nag Hammadi Library in 1945 in Egypt, they denounced it as heresy. So the movie is basically talking about how the Catholic Church, they found some original teachings of Jesus in the movie. And basically, the Catholic Church saying, well, if these are original teachings of Jesus, wouldn't be no need for no priests. Destroy our church. church. And, and basically, they destroy our church. We'd be out of a job. Right. So we got to suppress this shit and kill everybody around so we can still have a job. Yeah. Because the main key was that the kingdom of heaven is within. That was the whole movie. The kingdom of heaven is within. They stress that the whole time the kingdom of this heaven is within you. So therefore, what the hell you need some cracker to tell you some shit to repent and die out. So the movie, and so now this movie is also, if, uh, this movie, uh, um, I got a, a newspaper article around here, that uh, right here, that it says, uh, the demon seed Hollywood versus the Catholic Church at war. Hollywood and the Catholic Church at war. So the Catholic Church is all mad about that shit because they Tell exposed them. them. Tell them, man. Tell them. You see. They exposed that whole thing that went down. Who did the movie? Um, I don't know. It's just that you know, you, you never know. They just got to come out with shit now. <laughs> Giving each other up. You see, just like the movie, go get the movie Bowfinger. Go see the movie Bowfinger. Mm -hmm. Now, see, you think to see, see. Sometimes you have to see. This is how you do some real deal research. Sometimes, just based on who wrote the movie, will tell you a whole lot. First of all, Steve Martin wrote the movie. Mm. So in the movie, Eddie Murphy is the biggest star in the world. Long as every brother and sister is dead and all of you ain't free from this stuff, none of us got a right to be happy to all of us. See what I'm saying? You have no right to say that you are satisfied with America when you know the same brothers and sisters that some of you went to high school with who was not privileged enough to make it with you. You understand what I'm saying? It's catching hell from the man right now. You see what I'm saying? Check.